Somebody, 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 somebody. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is your first time here. My name is Ifeoma. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am back with a video that has been requested for about a year. I am going to be filming my ultimate guide to lagos the dirty december guide to lagos we are talking about the best places to go to eat to get your hair done culture for arts for shopping for fashion every single thing that you need to know about how to navigate lagos if you're watching this video i am assuming that you already have your flight booked you already know where you're going to stay this is not the video for that. This is the video for now that I'm in Lagos, what do I do? Okay, let me close the window. <laughs> so now that we have all of that out of the way and we are all on the same page, I have not been in Lagos since February of this year. Things change very quickly in Lagos. So I am recommending places that I've been to personally. I've also spoken to my friends on ground who have also put me on to some new places that I haven't checked out yet. Get comfortable, get yourself a snack. This is going to be a chit chat video. I've put together a list of Instagram accounts that you should be following if you are trying to find out what is happening while you are in Lagos because the truth of the matter is in December there's so many things happening it's really hard to keep track so these are the accounts that you need to follow first one nothing to do in Lagos this is an account that I've been following for ever like from way back when I used to live in Nigeria full-time I love this account another good account to follow is FOMO Lagos both of these accounts will pretty much give you a really good well-rounded curated collection not just parties but actual events that are happening so if you're into like plays theater shows food festivals music festivals these two accounts are really good to follow eat drink Lagos so this is the OG food blog okay I again have been following them since way back when. Another really good food account to follow is Foodie in Lagos. She also does food reviews. If you want to know where the good places to go eat, these two accounts are really, really good to follow. For more party music sort of vibes, Fly Time Fest is a really good account to follow, as is Palm Wine Festival. Both of them put on festival party type things around December. So if you're looking to see local artists performing in Nigeria, these are the two accounts that you want to follow. All right, let's move into restaurants. If you guys watch my Nigerian vlogs, you probably already know the kind of restaurants that I like. I like to go to places that give me a vibe, give me ambiance, give me, oh my God, are we still in Lagos? Like those are the sorts of places that I personally like to eat at. So those are the sorts of places that I'm gonna talk about. First one being Nok by Alara. I think because Nok has been around for a really long time, people tend to forget about it. But Nok, honestly, I am going to make a really bold statement. I think Nok was the first restaurant that really changed the scape of was scape or scope of Nigerian restaurants in Lagos. I remember when Knock opened and it was like, oh my God, like things have changed, levels have changed. Knock does Nigerian cuisine with a twist. Like they do really good quality food. So if you're looking for Nigerian food, but an upscale version, check out Knock. It's a really beautiful restaurant. They also have a store attached to it that has really, really, really cool things that you could take back home with you. So like gifts, clothing, souvenirs, art. It's, it's a really, really nice curated home stuff as well. I love Knock, clearly. Another favorite of mine is Ana. Ana has my heart. I think I went to Ana three times the last time I was in Lagos. I love Ana. Ana is mm, another place that I would categorize as Nigerian slash African cuisine, but with a twist. Their food at Ana is so tasty. And then on top of that, they have amazing drinks. Like honestly, when you go to Ana, get the CBD drink at your peril. Is that the right? word the last time i had their cbd cocktail i literally was falling asleep at the restaurant but they do a really good cbd cocktail menu list the food is so 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 different but very well done and the ambiance is just stunning like it literally gives me tulum in lagos and i'm not over hyping it i've been there so many times and it's literally top of my list to go back i love Anna. they also have the Anna cloud section which is like a rooftop bar it's not like it is a rooftop bar Anna is so well done and they really have curated a really nice vibe 
for drinks. Let's talk about slow. Slow is somewhere that, again, I feel like when they first came to Lagos, it was like, <gasps> again, another restaurant that is just so well done. Decor on point, food on point. I went to slow last time I was in Lagos, so this is a very recent review. The quality of their food has not dropped, which honestly is a really big deal for Lagos. It's very consistent, very good food, very good service, very good ambiance. Slow is more contemporary food. Is that the right word? Gosh, all my vocabulary is like escaping me today. Continental, yeah, they're more continental food, but just very, 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 very well done. Um, I don't know what I was trying to write here. Oh, the Smiths. The Smiths was actually one of my favorite restaurants that I went to last time. Again, very consistent. The girls that own the Smith also own Maple Lagos, which is more of a bistro, whereas Smith's is more of a cocktail bar slash restaurant. Again, both are serving more continental food. I think that they've done a really, really, really good job of having really consistent food. I remember at one point my friend was going there like almost every two weeks. First time I went to Maple, I did not like it, but everyone that I told I didn't like it was so shocked that it made me think that I must have just had a bad experience. So I went again and I loved it the second time around. So Maple potentially can be hit and miss but i've heard that the smith's place is very very consistent i only went there once and i had a really good time and at least for the last time i was around it was good value again i'm assuming everything has like doubled by now honestly it's just let's not even talk about it tai tai is not the most beautiful aesthetic restaurant it has a very hole in the wall vibe to it but the main reason why i like tai tai is because of that there's something about tai tai that makes me feel very cozy and warm and the food is really good if you like thai food it's very consistent like tai tai has been one of those restaurants that i've only ever heard good things about for as long as they've been around and they've been around for a very long time polo club and glover road have the best suya i personally really like marocane shawarma it's not the typical nigerian shawarma it's more of a lebanese shawarma and if you're looking for things like meat pie, sausage rolls, like just local snacks, I really, really, really still rate Nuts About Cakes in Lucky. They do the best snacks according to me. Cafes. So if you guys are not new here, you will know that I'm a very, 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 very big coffee lover. I take my coffee very seriously, okay? There are literally only two places that I actually rate the coffee in Lagos. First one being Godife. I love Godife. Another place that does really good coffee is My Shai. I've only been there once, but just from that one time I went, the culture that they have around coffee. They literally do coffee tasting classes and they roast their own beans. It's honestly very, very impressive. I also wanted to give a special shout out to milk and honey milk and honey full transparency is one of my friends businesses they do pastries they do like frappuccinos milkshakes and I've only ever heard incredible things as far as I know it's a pickup spot and they're also in Lekki so if you are close to Lekki or in Lekki and you're looking for somewhere that does really really tasty things definitely check them out hans and renee such a shout out to them it's not technically a cafe but again they also do sweet treats desserts ice cream if you're looking for like the best place to get ice cream from i'm pretty sure hans and renee is still it if anyone's watching these videos by the way and you live in lagos or you've been to lagos and you have other recommendations leave them down below i'm really trying to run through this list as quickly as possible Mini lounge for me is my go-to place to pick up food if i'm just you know out and about they do an in oh god i'm actually getting really hungry now the great thing about them is you know that you're eating pretty healthy food when you get food from them i like their chicken nan i always get it with extra chicken i also really like their couscous i still don't understand why newly doesn't do coffee nightlife and lounges i'm not going to mention places like boat club jet ski club polo club like all these places are members only clubs so if you don't know a member or you're not a member yourself they're quite difficult to get into so places that anyone can access the garden ikoi i went to the garden ikoi on my last trip and i had a really really great time they have a live band there it's either on thursday night nights i want to say it could be wednesday double check on their instagram and it was such a great experience it's more of a chill crowd but it has a vibe because they have a live band they have shisha they have drinks they have food if you're not looking for a nightclub i also have written down mood mood lagos is in lecky mood i think has a main night and i don't know what their main night is so again check out their
their Instagram to figure that out. But I like Mood because it's just chill. It's a rooftop place. They usually have live entertainment. Again, they have shisha everywhere in Lagos has shisha. But it's just a really, really nice vibe. What is Boho Lagos? Oh, Boho Lagos. A Boho Lagos is apparently a new club that my friends are telling me about. I have not been, but apparently it's like a cabaret, nightlife type of place. It's giving pavilion from what I saw on their Instagram. Again, full transparency. I know the owner. Very, very, very well done place. Very like grown and sexy vibes at pavilion. I've only been once and I went when it was still like brand new. And every time I see what they're doing now, like it's been less than a year and they're already like the go-to place on a night out. Speaking of go-to places on a night out, it has to be said Zaza. Zaza is definitely the oldest of the three places that I've just mentioned, but that that honestly is something to be impressed about. The thing about Lagos is things change very quickly, especially in the nightlife industry, if that's the right term. The fact that they're still very, very, very much so relevant is very impressive. There's another place I went to, I think it's called La Vella. That's new. I think it only opened last year, but I had a really great time the two times I went there. Lagos is definitely doing this whole like stage live performance thing. But the truth is Zaza was the first place to bring it to Lagos. Again, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Zaza deserves its respect, okay? I've also written down Obi's house. I've still never been to Obi's house, which I think is actually crazy. Obi's house is a night that DJ Obi puts on. I think his nights are on Mondays, if I'm not mistaken. I've only heard great things. I think I just struggled to get behind the idea of going out on a Monday. I tried to go last time and it was actually sold out. So clearly he's doing something right. The next category I have is salons. Okay, so first salon I'm going to give a shout out to is any braids. You guys know I'm team microlocks. I literally have a whole playlist on my channel dedicated to microlocks. If you want to know anything about my hair and what I've been doing to my hair since I got microlocks three years ago, I still cannot believe it's been three years already, check out that playlist. Any braids is the company that I use to install my microlocks and anytime I'm in Lagos, I get my hair done by Any Braids. Why am I mentioning this? Because a lot of you guys DM me and tell me, Any Braids is fully booked. Where else can I go? The truth of the matter is I haven't let any other person in Nigeria work in my hair. These are some alternatives, but I have not been there. So if you can't get an appointment with Any Braids, you can check these out if you would like to. So I have four salons if you actually care about the health of your hair. That sounds like shade, but there are lots of salons in Nigeria, but you don't want to go to every single one. You want to go to a good one, okay? Um, Tasala. Tasala, again, is one of the OG hair salons. I think they've done a really great job at establishing themselves as people who know what they're doing with hair. If you watch my vlogs, you will know that that's pretty much my go-to because there's a guy at Tasala who actually has locks and he knows a lot about locks. I think his name is Anthony. I hope I'm not mistaken and I hope he still works there. He does a really good job. If you're looking to dye your locks, wash your locks, treat your locks, he's my go-to. But outside of locks, they do really good natural hair. I had my hair braided with them the last time and they were very, 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 very knowledgeable. Bloom hair, oh my gosh, Bloom hair, they have that really cool like steam thing going on. Um, I just love Bloom hair. Again, they just are very knowledgeable about what they're doing. They're a little spendy, but you have to spend money for good things in this life. That's one thing I'm, I'm realizing. They have a really good environment. They keep it clean. It has like a really nice feel to it. They offer you um, tea and biscuits. Like I, I, I like that sort of thing, okay? Um, I've also written down Tresses by KVC. Again, I know the owner, Coin Sala. She has been an OG in the hair space. She's actually a certified trichologist. Like that is not very common to find in Nigeria. If you have have any hair issues hair loss scalp issues i actually have dry scalp issues so i'd actually want to go see her for that i just think she's so knowledgeable all of her staff are trained by her i have not been to her salon in such a long time and i don't know why i must honestly have just like escaped my mind in a similar vein hair education beautiful salon they're in lucky phase one very knowledgeable about hair very comfortable very good experience 10 10 10s they've been around for a while they're still around respect to literally all of the salons I've just mentioned. If you're looking to get braids done, I found a couple of companies I have not used any of these disclaimer okay so the first one being my extensions i've been into the salon but i've never done my hair there it was a really nice like, salon the same people that own the smiths and um uh, maple own the salon and it was a really pretty salon and i've actually seen people whose hair that they've done which is why i recommended them i think they might be more expensive than 
other places but if you're looking for a good experience i think that they would give it to you as would the braiding vault i actually came across them randomly because they're in the same compound as the newly in Nikoi. again just very 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 nice space i went in made some inquiries i definitely want to check them out because they just seemed very knowledgeable when i was questioning them she is shea essentials i actually spoke to someone who had their hair done there actually two people now i know now the space is beautiful it is so nice they do a good job i've also written down mobile braids ng i've never used them but i think that if you just call them up you can book an appointment and they'll come to your house and do your hair which is perfect because i know a lot of people come to nigeria and getting braids is on the top of their list. I also have written down some nail salons that I really like. The nail boutique is in Ikoi and they're also in Lekki. It is so hard to get an appointment there, which is why I've had to find other alternatives. I think the last time I was in Lagos, I went to the nail bar, was it the nail room? I can't remember, but I'll put up their Instagrams. It was on Kingsway Road in Ikoi. There's a girl there that I really like the way she does nail art, even though like I'm not doing any of these things to my nails anymore. I'm taking a break and growing my nails out at the moment. There's another place as well that my friend swears by, but when I went, you guys, I literally was sitting there for two hours and nobody came to do my nails. They don't take appointments, which especially around December is really, really tricky because if you have to go somewhere where you're waiting, you can end up waiting for a really, really, really long time. So personally, I don't know if I can recommend these guys in good faith, but apparently they do a really, really, really good job. For lashes, I went to Lashes by Atta. They do a really good job, but it's not the best experience. It's three beds in one room. Similarly to the last nail place I said, their appointment booking system is very annoying. They don't let you book an appointment. You kind of have to come super early or call it's it's really weird it's not very straightforward at least it wasn't back then and then the other thing i've written down is beauty atelier beauty atelier is honestly like the go-to place i think if you want to do lashes microblading micro shading any sort of thing to do with your eyelashes or your eyebrows they do such a great job they're always fully booked <laughs> <laughs> so that's another problem with beauty atelier but if you can get an appointment with them they're the og let's talk about spas so i've written down on the spa this place just looks so beautiful i actually bought a gift voucher for my friend's birthday and she said that she had a really great time there so it's top of my list to check out they also do reformer pilates i just ugh, it's so beautiful speaking of pilates los studios law studios i don't really know the right way to pronounce it they just have curated this really Really, really really nice space it's in vi they do reformer pilates classes they also do different aerobics classes that you can't really find easily in nigeria like bar like who else does bar <laughs> it's just a really cute space they have a cafe an outdoor spot where you could possibly work if it wasn't too hot i mean it's always very hot in nigeria but i just really think that they've done a really good job at just curating a really nice relaxing presence and then the last spa i have on my list is belfiore medical again another business that's owned by a friend of mine dr uju she's just the go-to for any sort of aesthetics that you want to get done in nigeria facials peels botox injectables lip filler weight loss injections like she does everything okay so if you are looking to get that kind of stuff done while you're in nigeria um, check her out as well i've definitely done this in a very random order but I've written down the beach. The beach is a sad thing for me to talk about because if you guys don't know, Landmark Beach actually was demolished earlier in the year. I still don't understand why. Honestly, it's just a heartbreaking situation. If you guys watch my Lagos vlogs, you would see literally one of the last things I did before I left was go to Breeze Beach Club, which used to be at Landmark and it's been completely destroyed now. I don't know if the general Landmark Beach Club that was open to the public still exists. If it is, that is still an option it's so heartbreaking but i have tried to find some other alternatives because i know that people like to go to the beach when they are in lagos Sacampan resort this place has been open forever okay it's pretty far though it's about an hour hour and a half drive from lucky phase one 
but it's really really beautiful i feel like that place doesn't get as much love i've loved it for a really long time it's so peaceful so quiet the beach is pretty clean you can also sleep there i don't know if they still do that but back in the day you could sleep there it's a really good place to just go with a bunch of friends and just spend the day i actually had one of my birthdays back in the day there there are also some other places like that i think jara you can drive to la campana i think the other ones you need boats for and then if you have a boat or access to a boat or you're looking for a beach house to rent because looking one I've seen for ages is Sensillo. it is just so stunning and then I think I also wrote down Takwa Bay Takwa Bay is more of an authentic Nigeria local rustic beach vibe a lot of people actually prefer that I don't think bar beach is still a thing but back in the day like bar beach had a very similar vibe if you're just looking for something that's cheap and expensive and you don't mind being harassed people coming up to you trying to sell things that sort of thing happens a lot more at Takwa Bay the last time I went to Takwa Bay I'm not gonna lie I didn't have the best time but some people love it because it's way more down to earth so it just depends on the vibe you're looking for I've also written down down some ready to wear a lot of ready to wear in Nigeria is actually made to order and by that I mean you go in you place your order and it's ready in like two to three weeks I'm going to make a whole other video dedicated to some of my favorite Nigerian designers that operate on that model but for this video if you just are looking for an outfit that you can wear tomorrow these are my go-to recommendations first one being Ziva Lagos Ziva Lagos I think is equivalent to I would say H&M they have really affordable clothes really 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 good selection in a similar vein Belangelique both of these are in lucky phase one again great selection really great finds you'll find something OOMA they are slightly more pricey slightly more statement pieces but again they actually have stuff that's available off the rack. Zinkata, she has been a staple in the Nigerian ready-to-wear industry for such a long time. She curates other Nigerian designers and like she has everything in one place. So she does a really, 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 really great job. Um, I have not been to her shop in a really long time, but if you need something, check her out. Eki Kerry, they have a shop in Ikoi I think they used to I don't know if it's still there they do those um really nice raffia dresses I have one I love it so much it's so beautiful they also have a kids shop TMO official was my go-to for beach clothes but they actually do dresses as well they're in Lekki really really great selection love that shop so much they can actually make stuff for you in 24 hours which is actually insane but they have a pretty good selection of things that you can buy like on the day if you're in a pinch and you need something to wear there's another shop in lecky starts with an m miss Cass. they're also kind of like h&m forever 21 that sort of vibe um, again, the boutique is just so well done, so nicely laid out. I feel like a lot of the shops that you can go in and buy clothes quickly tend to be in Lucky Phase 1. So if you just drive up and down Admiralty, you'll actually see so many boutiques. <laughs> so that's also another thing that you could do. And there's another place I'm missing, oh gosh, Zephans. Oh, I just dropped my ring. Fans and Co. They're also in Lekki. They do really nice printed dresses. They do shoes, jewelry. They're actually a really good one. I can't believe they weren't on my list originally. Zeph fans. For style's sake. I have not been there before, but it's been on my list for a very long time to check them out. Andrea Iyama. She has a beautiful store in VI. Ugh. Oh. Her pieces are just stunning. But there's so many places I'm forgetting. Tiffany Amber, um, Wani Fuga, Banka Cuckoo. Gosh, Banka Cuckoo has an incredible selection. Imadu Aduso, I got my birthday dress from them last year. They have a pretty good selection of items that you can buy in store. I think I'm going to leave this here. 
I hope you guys have found this video useful. If there are any other sections that I have not spoken to, let me know and maybe I'll make a part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this video, guys. Like, share this video with anyone that you know who is going to Nigeria for Christmas and needs advice or information let this video be literally the go-to and if it does well maybe i can do one every year who knows wouldn't that be great <laughs> so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave comments with your own recommendations down below tag your favorite brands let's share love i do not believe in gatekeeping you guys already know that i will see you guys very soon in my next one thank you so much for watching stay blessed stay safe and take care bye